the day. From Lincoln's financial field in Philadelphia. the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field more now on the return and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line so first and 10 now from the 30 first carry for James Conner Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for. Third down here. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. Who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Taking over first and ten. Hurts. Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. On third down, they turn to Sanders. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 40. The partner that locked in man coverage out left and end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. He's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He'll get this complete to Jalen Rager. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. First and ten, and Sanders. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And quickly finding Rager. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. First and goal from the three. Sanders. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Sanders again. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. They'll try to run with Sanders. And this time he is in. Miles Sanders taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive. And he wound up taking it into the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. 
So that was a pretty time consuming 10 play drive. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off on the touchdown run. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Set to return it. Here's Moore. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Here's Murray. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to let them feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 45 on second down, Hurts. And that is incomplete. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. They go play action with Hertz. Airing it out deep for Smith. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I see what they were trying to do there, trying to find some dead space in the middle of the field and take their shot right there. A really good idea, but it winds up incomplete. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try to keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second and 12, Hurts. There goes a deep ball, in zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing his hurts. Quick slant here to Smith. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. And he will take this one in for an easy touchdown. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Eagles are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. 
So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. But he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. Here are the Eagles now as they're going to go for two. Hurts will throw. And this will be caught. So the try for two good. And it pushes him out to a 15-0 lead. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get an intercept, it's returned by the defense. That's two points for them, but can't do it. Turn. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? On second and 12, Murray. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Murray. And that is incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. 42 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Marcus Golden credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Play action. Here's Hurts. He gets it complete to Jackson. Give him 19 on the play, but they will still come up a bit short. And now it's fourth down. Going for it with Sanders. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 15-0 our score. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
Fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. Heck of a broken tackle, but only able to work this down near the 23. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. Here's Hurts to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marco Wilson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Boy, that's the kind of interception that can save a game right there. They're already down two scores. Huge play, slowing down what was going against them. I was thinking the same thing. You get down three scores there at this stage, could be in for a long ball game. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That's now six dropbacks, six incompletions. He had the defense been pretty good early, but he's got to start hitting some of those throws. He's making them better than what they actually are. To throw on second and 10. Murray toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. From the gun on third down, Murray sliding out of the puck. Oh, now Murray has it stripped. And it's picked up by the Eagles. Now, let's be frank, you hate the fumble at the end of the play. But prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline. Step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. They'll run with Sanders, pushing through the contact. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. He'll try again. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against him. Birds fumbles it. And the Cardinals have got it, going the other way. He's at the 50. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. And how about the big boys showing off the wheels? Let's face it. Anybody who watches a game, even if it goes against your team, when there's a big man with the football, <laughs> everyone locks in. All eyes. All eyes. Everyone locks in, and the rumbling, you can feel it all the way to the upper reaches of the stands. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. <laughs> to throw is Murray. And his throw here is incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And now another one thrown incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Offense got to be loving this. After the long miss field goal, they'll take over on the other side of the 50. First and 10. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. And he gets this inside the 35 yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Hurts sets up to throw it. And one more time, that's Watkins. And they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. 
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Sanders. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Second down, back to Sanders. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 74 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. The Eagles on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot of his power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's here for the Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Eagles are able to add on to their first half lead. So what a first half that he has had running the football. That now three touchdown runs. And I would anticipate that when they get down in the red zone, He's going to get more chances as this game goes on, and I think that the guys blocking for him are going to ask for him to get more chances. They like the rhythm they've developed. Elliott Good with a PAT, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on the kick it away. More now on the return. Yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the Arizona offense about set to take over. Hasn't had his best day to this point here in the second quarter. They're losing. You got to think, though, that also means that maybe the defense doing a good job on him. There's two sides to that coin. I would agree, so you have to give them credit, but that means you've got to find a way to beat that defense and make sure one of your top playmakers touches the football and has an impact on the game. Change formations, change where he lines up, put him in motion. Anything possible to shake him free. Maybe that greater impact comes here on this drive. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. And so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. Play game offense. And that'll set them back five. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Murray now. Dancing to his left. And he is fine bounds but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big pick up there on the scramble. So now then the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now first and 10. Out of the gun here's Murray. Flush to his right. The improv on the scramble there gets him six and it'll be second down. A six yard pickup. From the gun, Murray, his throw incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Throwing now is Murray. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken it. 
tackle, getting the sack. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They have not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting addled. And this one's not close. Not even close. Short and to the right. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So two missed field goals for him now. That's helped keep them with a big zero on the scoreboard. Well, it's not the only reason they have a zero. The offense has been bogged down a few times now, but it's certainly not helping the cause any at all. 91 yards for him on the ground now, and three touchdowns to go along with it. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll run with Sanders, and he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half. Of Under pressure, they got him again. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. They'll set up a throw. Looking here for Smith downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top, unsuccessful. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the... Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Let it well and it's picked. And he returns it into enemy territory down the 45-yard line. Teams turned it over three times in the first half. We just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. But first down, Hurts. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. On third down, he'll drop to throw. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a carry for Sanders. Oh, some strong running. How did he stay on his feet? And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll look to throw here. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A 
seven yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Extra point was hooking, but he does make it through. And the round is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Daniels on the return. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. It seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked off by Alex Singleton. And he's hanging it back in to the 43-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and ten. Switch up, switch up. He'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They're going to look to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Smith. And he will have a finish down as they're in the field goal range now at the 30. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll look to throw again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Set to return it. Here's Moore. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. A final shot before half for Murray. Looking deep for his tight end, Ertz. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Final play of this first half. We now proceed to the 
the start of the second half. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. This one taken just inside the 10. A oh, good-looking return set up here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Now come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. He'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. It's caught Smith. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They'll run on first down. Sanders. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. From the 40 now on second down. Hurts. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. But the Baker with a pick. And the Cards are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 16. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. They find some open field here. DeAndre Hopkins, he's all alone. Touchdown, Cardinals. DeAndre Hopkins, 84 yards. And the Cardinals claw one back. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And this is no good, but they didn't even get there. Not a good effort at all. And our score remains the same. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This is taken just shy of the 10. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offensive line. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now Sanders takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Complete. Smith has it. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll run it, Sanders. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. On second and seven. Hurts over the middle to Smith. And they're going to have another first. 
first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 19. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, we might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll set up to throw. And that would going to be off target and incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Over the middle complete. Brad Smith. They get seven there, but it brings up four. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Here's Andy Lee now, standing just about on his own goal line. Here comes Rager. A nice punt, but a good run back as well, 13 yards. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's falling off. When, when a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually... There's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, get with him, and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? There's always one person he can lean on. He's going to have to lean on that guy right now. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Back to throw here. This is complete to Watkins on a slam. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield, and there's another completion. A throw on the quick slant going to be complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard game, second and two. Second down now. It's Sanders. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown. Eagles. Miles Sanders. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles continue to roll. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Elliott Good with a PAT, and that will extend this big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on. Moore now to return. 
And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. On second and ten, Murray. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. Going deep for Hopkins. And unable to connect, incomplete. I'll give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Second down, back to Sanders. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And he'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. A man from the capital of Pennsylvania, Harrisburg. This is Chase Edmonds. Boy, that was pretty. Sidestepping defenders on his way to a pickup of nine yards. From the 38, Murray. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Well, this game is certainly... ...pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. At the Eagles, 19 yards. To throw again on second down. Murray. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. He was looking for his favorite target, A.J. Green, that time. And it's third and short. Throwing again, Murray. His hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll go for it with Edmonds. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We see. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. James Conner. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Pulls it in at the 13. 
And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. On first down, it's Sanders. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. To the line now. They'll run on first down. Sanders. 218 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. The last run got six. Now second and four. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion. And that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Scott with it again on second. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. On the carry, this is Scott. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Scott. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Eagles touchdown. Boston Scott taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles are pouring it on. Well, they just continue to roll. And, Charles, for you and I, we want the close games, but for them, it has to be so nice to enjoy this big cushion. I can't remember the last time we saw them play this loose and have this much fun. I think they'd love to be able to capture this game, carry it with them from week to week, and be able to execute like this in all the rest of their games. Elliott Good on the extra point. And the lead is still by one. Turn. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Cardinal offense takes back over. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offense's sails because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. To throw, it's Murray. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. 
And Charles, in a very one-sided affair, I think we've reached the point in the broadcast where you and I, we may have some filling to do, right? Yeah, I think you're right about that because we have to try to keep people around. We don't want them to change the channel. Stay with us in this game. Is that Ben Ramsar? Are you hearing from Ben on the headset here? Tell yeah. us to out a little bit. Get some talking points. Dig them all out. Uh, that's what you get. A big-time producer. Keep them here. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. They got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Running right, here's Sanders. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after the strong run we just saw. They're able to corral him quickly defensively. On second down, it's Sanders. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. You got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. On second down now, it's Sanders. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Now that Eagle offense will stay out there as they'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. <laughs> I think this is just going to be a function of the times we live in now. Very similar to the net flip in baseball. Everyone's going to start to get comfortable with this. But to me, this is just rubbing it in. You got a big lead. Go ahead and take the extra point. One thing to keep in mind, though, Karma's still out there. And sometimes that's a way of catching up with you. Set to return it. Here's more. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball with you if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Murray. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. A 
at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Here's Andy Lee now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what?